Hello everyone, welcome once again in Cool IT Help. In this tutorial session, we are going to run a Java program inside the Visual Studio Code on Mac OS X Catalina. Here we go. So first thing first, prerequisite. We need JDK 11 and uh, you can download Oracle JDK or Open JDK. So I will show you the setup with the Open JDK, but you guys have a Oracle JDK, so you can proceed with the Oracle JDK with these steps as well. Now we will follow the step one. In the step one, I have mentioned that without the JDK 11, we cannot run our Java program inside the Visual Studio code. So first we need to download it and then we need to set up it. So guys, let's download and set up the environment variable. Here we go. This is the Chrome browser. Open the browser and uh, type adopt open JDK and you will get first result. Open this result in a new tab and then you will see this page. This is the page which is hosting the Mac OS X 64-bit OpenJDK installer. So we are going to download this one. And uh, this is the latest release and uh, click on this big blue button to download. Here we go. On the left hand side you can see. The file size is 182 MB, which will not take uh, much time. Five to 10 minutes required. If you have a good internet speed, then this will not take more than five minutes. So guys, we will launch this installer and the very first screen, we will get this one. You will get the information. This is the installation location of the Adopt Open JDK. So you can save it somewhere in a notepad, click continue. And uh, this is the license agreement page. Accept this one and uh, proceed for the next window. Click install. And the final installation process will start. You will see some progress on this installer. This is the last window and uh, finally you will get the installation location path one more time. So you can copy this path. We need this to set up Java home variable. Now this will ask that your downloaded JDK installer uh, will be sent to the uh, trash so you can proceed. We don't need more. Now we will verify this uh, installation is done properly or not. So open the terminal and now on this terminal we have to type a simple command java hyphen version press enter and you will get some results. Now in this result, you will see no Java installed or you will get whatever the current Java version is there on your machine. That means Java home variable is not automatically set by this setup. We need to do it manually. Now we have to open the bash underscore profile file in edit mode. Then we have to update Java underscore home variable for the new JDK 11. So guys, this is a simple command. This is written in this notepad also the same command in the description you can get from that place now once you run this command on the terminal you will see bash underscore profile file right here and uh, you will get all these entries so you can see the very first entry java underscore home and some value is set now you will find that the value is set which is for uh, JDK 1.8. Now we have to change this value and in this at this place we will set new JDK path. To find out the down, uh, installation location just copy this path uh, forward slash library slash java java virtual machines then you will get this folder. And uh, you can see at this place this is the open JDK installation folder, go inside the contents and then you will get the home folder. This is just similar like that your previous JDK. Suppose you need uh, to get a path of any folder at any depth. So you can uh, use a single trick that I'm going to tell you open the terminal and just drag and drop the folder and then you will get the complete path. I will suggest you so don't write this path manually avoid the mistakes just copy the path like this way and update this value right here. Now save this bash underscore profile file. 
Now you can see Java underscore home is pointing to the new open JDK, which is JDK 11. So we, we have set up Java underscore home inside the bash profile file. Now we are good to go. Close the rest of the windows and just open the terminal for the verification. Now opening the terminal from the spotlight search. So this is the terminal window up here. And now we will type uh, Java hyphen version, press enter. So within seconds, you will get details. Open JDK version 11.0.9. Uh, and uh, this is the runtime environment from now. So we are going to run a Java program. So this runtime environment will be used. So verification is successful. Java underscore home variable is done properly. So we have completed the step two as well. Now in the step three, we need a basic Java plugins that is required to create a Java program inside the Visual Studio code. These plugins will help us to create a Java projects or uh, this will help us to run. So this is the Visual Studio code. Click on this gear icon and uh, click on these extensions. There's one more shortcut on the left hand side. You can click that icon as well. So this window will appear on the search box. Just type Java and you will get the result. So select this result Java extension pack, which is provided by the Microsoft. Click on this uh, green button for the installation. Also, you can notice right here. This is the pack of the six plugins which are required to create different kinds of project as a Maven project, debugger for the Java and uh, Visual Studio IntelliCode. There's an autocomplete kind of thing. So the, all these plugins required for that. So this installation will take five uh, minutes more. We will wait for that. After that, we will create a Java program inside the VS Code, then we will run it. Okay, guys, installation is done. Now we will create Java program right here. So open the Visual Studio code and uh, on the top menu, go to the view, click on this command palette. In this search box, just type create Java project and you will get the option. Click on this and you will get these options. So we will uh, use the first uh, very basic no build tools. Click on that and you will be asked to select a folder in which you want to save your Java projects. So create a blank folder anywhere on your drive and just select through this window. So this will be selected as a project location. Now it's time to give the name of our project. So type any name of your choice. First Java project, all in a small case letter, press enter and uh, very soon you will see the project is set up on the left hand side. Also, you will get a default app.java file. There's a very simple uh, Java code is written and uh, we have one system.out.println statement to check that setup is working or not. So I'm doing a bit changes right here and then I will run this one. So guys do a change, save this program on the right hand side. You can see the run button, run code button. So you can click any one. Both will execute your program. So click on this big button and uh, you will get the result in the terminal. You can see out statement printed a uh, hello cool IT help on the terminal. So guys, this is the way you can set up your uh, Java environment in Visual Studio code on Mac OS X Catalina. I hope you guys found the tutorial relevant and useful. Please like this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe my channel. And for now, thanks for watching. Cool IT help.